Oh, that's a swing. Yeah, thank you for taking time. Uh, this material is a paper printed matter I delivered last Thursday. So the so uh, uh, I'm going to uh, talk about the uh, improving maze yield projection by using artificial neural networks. And then at the beginning, uh, I put the uh, information about the maps and the study area. So this is this is Japan, and uh, this is a uh, China. And this area is a uh, uh, study area. Here is there's a the Jidin here. So the last last at this time of last year and uh, this March, I have a chance to visit. Uh, Jilin province uh, with the support of the Jilin University and collect the information about the cropping, cropping calendar information and uh, yield information. And then uh, I also made a figure of the precipitation, the data sets, of the standardized data sets from the maize yield data sets and temperature, accumulated temperature from April to October and precipitation July to August, and precipitation September, and fertilizer, uh, input fertilizer. Yeah, this is too crowded. Too crowded. Too small. So, so know, this will not be needed, um, maybe excluded. Well, it, it's, good. it's a good thing to show, but, you know, maybe, maybe two graphs divided into two. Maybe two panels. Um, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But we did the end of the, you know, you know, one, two, right? If uh, I just have the three curves, one with two curves, that kind Yeah, of yeah, yeah. So divided into separate graphs. Yeah, I think two would be okay. Um, two is okay. So, so what you can do is to put the uh, mm -hmm. you know, the information here, so that you can see the information. Yeah, put maize yield. Yeah, maize yield. One of them, and then you put this guy. In, uh, the, in fact, the temperature is not used. Um, well, if you have two panels, you have one, two panels. You have this curve, that curve, that curve. And then the second panel will be, again, this curve, and then that curve. Sorry, sorry this curve, the fertilizer, and two precipitations will be in the second, second panel. Okay. So it's going to be this guy, that guy, that guy, and then this guy. Those two. And two panels that you can read it. And this, you, you have to think about how to make this thing. So in a, in a both uh, both class, maize yield is put put inside, and maize yield and uh, temperature and fertilizer and maize yield precipitation are uh, two precipitation. Yeah. That okay. Be, yeah. yeah. I do. That that. Be, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And with two graphs. Yeah. yeah. Two yeah. graphs. Yeah. Two gra graph. And more easy to read. Easy to read. Okay, I do that. And then uh, I explain about the methodology, uh, the performance of the model. How, how can we evaluate the performance of the, of the model? Is using uh, RMSC-SS. So the explanation of the RMSC-SS is here. And then uh, explain about the neural networks, neural networks uh, portion here. And uh, then I explain about the, these data sets. Yeah, this, um... yeah, because I don't know. My, 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 my colleagues in Japan is not familiar with dividing the data sets. And the training periods and uh, validation periods. Oh, it, it works work, working yeah, this time, something like that. Yeah. So the... Oh, see, now if the reviewer thinks it's too obvious, then you might not do it. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty standard thing cross-validation. So people with statistics know this, so you don't need this. Uh, no, but, no, but, yeah. Uh, but I don't know, like if you think agricultural people don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. But you can send it to an appendix or something. Uh, so, I, mean, I mean, this is good when you're giving a talk, right? You're giving a talk, mm -hmm. just help with the paper, you know. Uh, okay, so, so people, you, people know this and that they think it's a redundant. Mm -hmm. You just say it. So, mm. 
So I don't know. At least one figure less would be cheaper. <laughs> yeah, one figure less. Then you could do it out. So maybe uh, I don't need this paper. Yeah, okay, exp yeah, yeah, okay, okay exclude this. Well, they have it when you give talks, right? Yeah. But when you uh, get paper, I think you don't. Okay, I exclude this paper here. Yeah. Okay. And then, results. At the beginning, I explained about the analysis for the MLR. And then, I uh, explained about a a M ANS. So the, the, at the beginning, uh, parameters by M MLR without temperature. Uh, is explained here. And as for the using a temperature, I just put the uh, uh, sentences here. A p value for temperature is bigger than 0 0.3 in each combination, suggests that temperature may be excluded yeah. just in the yeah. sentences. And then parameters by MLR with a temperature. And then parameters by MLR with previous year's yield, uh, with still with fertilizer. And then explain about the MLR with previous year's yield without fertilizer, or instead of fertilizer. And do, do you need multiple correlations or just write down correlations? the same thing, isn't it? Ah, yeah, yeah. So yeah just, just, say, just, say, just say, say correlation. Three three words, correlation. Yes, just, just uh, correlation coefficients. What is the correlation when you do um, correlation with the persistence model, like this year's yield with Last year's yield is a correlation, do you know? Mm, sorry. This what year. is the correlation between this year's yield and last year's yield? What was the correlation? Uh, yeah, because in, in this case, uh, the data set is divided into four parts, oh. like this. So the this this part here, I mean the the using this value. Uh, the parameter is estimated, and the estimated using estimated parameters, I calculated this. So when when I, we estimate from 1962 to 1994, the correlation is calculated by MLR in this sense. So uh, in this yeah, but I'm, I'm saying your persistence model. Right? Assuming that you have your time series of the yield from the first year that you have data to the last one, mm. you have yield, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, you calculate the correlation between that series and the yield of the previous year. So you will have like less data points, like you will lose two points. But uh, you calculate the correlation of, I imagine like the present with yesterday. That's mm -hmm, what mm -hmm, mm -hmm. William was like probably yeah. wondering, like today's yield versus last year's yield. Because you calculate RMSE, but what is the correlation? Ah, so in, in this case, maybe no, no need to put the correlation here. It, it's, it's kind uh, of a... It's, in a, it's, it's worthwhile mentioning what is the correlation. Because, for example, in, in precipitation, if today rains, yeah. uh, probably yesterday also rained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So similarly... Yeah. So that, that correlation is useful, right? To know this is useful information to have in your paper. Mm -hmm. just, just, just mention about the, the yeah. parameter, parameter with multiple regression analysis. The, the correlation. correlation. Yes. So correlation. So just the correlation. Between, the GU and last year's yield? No, 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 no. Just, it's not the, only the correlation, but it's a kind of a, a MLR it consists of the function of precipitation from July to August, precipitation in September, and fertilizers. Yeah. Yes, I, I, but yeah, in, yes. the, in the last column, you have like multiple correlation coefficients. Yeah. So oh. you add another column that calculates the correlation with the yield of the previous year. Oh, no, yeah, as he, has a table. he has another table. He has another table. Yeah, no, 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 not in this case. No, not yeah. LMA. No, LMA, 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 LMA. Not with the yeah. MLR. Yeah. 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 yeah, this one, right? So you have all these correlations. But what, what, what is the correlation? You just have this year's yield correlated last year's yield. Yeah. 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 Yeah
information. Ah, just not, for the information. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm, yeah. No, not compared to the yeah. Yeah. MLR, just the model okay. and yeah, the that, that some sense, right? so you Just to see how much if it's better is or is mm, it's mm, worse. Mm, mm, yeah. Okay, so the yeah. uh, so the uh, no, suggestion is just just put the sentences with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah I do that. Yes, yes, yes. Just the persistence. Yes, yes. Yes, the core relation with uh, the persistence model. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Forecast to do 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 do. Okay, I do. That. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. And uh, so the fertilizer alone uh, is a strong influencer, uh, but it's sometimes too difficult to obtain fertilizer. So that instead of using uh, fertilizer, the possibility of using previous year's yield is investigated. So the, uh, this is a parameter using the parameters by MLR with previous year's yield without fertilizer is this portion. And then, uh, with a the suggestion of the Carlos san, I put the information about the AKIK information criterion here for the MLR. So the, in this case, uh, precipitation July to August and September and yield and AKIK information suggests that uh, it would, uh, does not seem to this value sets uh, yield. Previous year's yield plays important role, but precipitation uh, July to August and precipitation in September, the KIK value becomes higher. So in that sense, yield plays very important yield or, or something like that. This portion is not required. No, no. This is just use this model for forecast. All, all these are actually. Yeah, what it says is that that's actually the best model. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the opposite of the results. Well, well, it, it says, uh, you know, whenever little skill is gained isn't justified. Like that's, that's what it says. Mm. Yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> you want to sell that idea, <laughs> you, can, you can get a little bit more skill, maybe. That's the idea. The idea would say you don't overfit. Over so they, they err on the somewhat conservative size, so they actually pay the small amount. Mm. But they're close. Huh? You have like the yield and the September temperature is yeah. mm. the one that has like the three, like nine, ten. So maybe I'll, I'll add for this portion, maybe not needed here. Maybe no. What was it? What were you but, 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 but save it. Yeah. Yeah, because save you it. never know if a reviewer yeah. will ask for this. Yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, also show it to one of my reviewers asked for the criterion, so yeah. I can show my results. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah, it's July to August and present. Also, if I use AIC for this, then you might want AIC for the neural network as well, right? So you might want to expand it to uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll think about that. Mm -hmm. I'll start to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, then next, next, uh, I'm moving to the ANS. It's conducted with using standard predictors, and then also changing the hidden neurons and uh, ensembles, uh, I don't know, hidden neuron and ensembles. And then uh, at the beginning, the result sets uh, maze yield output by MLR and ANS. Uh, hidden neuron is is equal three and 200 ensembles here. And this, this can be called uh, control run. And this is uh, this value, uh, RMSCSS value 0 0.348. And then uh, we put the from case A, case B, C, D, E, F, G. So the uh, predictor is a fertilizer and precipitation, two precipitations, and one precipitation, and one precipitation, and then uh, precipitation from July to August and fertilizer, and precipitation September and fertilizer. And this, these are the values. And I, I calculate again and again, and uh, check the values. Uh, it's called collect. And then, uh, the, the, from this, this results, we can figure out 
the fertilizer alone, alone, fertilizer alone is a strong, strong influencer. But if you put the precipitation values, uh, the RMSCSS value is increased. So that means the combination, with the combination of fertilizer and precipitation in September, uh, might contribute to the yield hypothesis. Because only the, only the fertilizer, the value is this value. But if you put the precipitation, the values is increased. RMSC value, SS value is include, in, uh, improved. So that means the combination uh, is better than fertilizer alone. So this is a desert plant here. And then, uh, using instead of fertilizer, a possibility of using previous year's precipitation and uh, uh, previous year's yield are also investigated. And this is the uh, tables I, ca I conducted. So the, the number of hidden neuron, and also the hidden neuron is changed from three to nine, and precipitation July to August. Now this T called T means present, and September, the precipitation September present, and the precipitation July to August previous years, and September previous years, and fertilizer is present, and yield is a previous years. So this is a result of the all, 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 all combination of the values. So this is a control run using a precipitation, this two present, two present precipitation and the fertilizers. And then uh, using a, this kind of combination. So the effects of precipitation uh, from July to August, precipitation September, and previous year's yield are investigated. And I, I wrote the, but, uh, the mention about this results. And also with the suggestion of the Professor William Sensei, I conducted the, this portion uh, to, to, to evaluate the effects of precipitation from July to August, precipitation in September, and previous year's yield, uh, forecast yield using only one of the three predictors and have the other two set to the mean value, zero as predictors are standardized, uh, conducted. Excuse me, uh, can you show me the, the table again? Table, yeah. Yeah, it's actually yeah. a very interesting table. I mm -hmm. looked at it. You know, what, what he's doing is that he, he added, okay, so this is the, uh, this year's precipitation. So last year's, the idea is counter this, this view, because if you had some, this is from last year, last year, you need to cancel out the effect of precision on this, mm -hmm. right? So well, the idea is that whether putting this in will counter the, the issue, last year's prediction effect on the yield. Because the yield is trying to imitate the fertilizer yield. Right? Because, you know, if you put all of them in, so this is the situation. So last year, it's not really the forecast this year, but to compensate for last year's yield having precipitation effect on them. Because right? yield has said, sort of imitate the fertilizer But it has last year's prediction. Precipitation, so we want to take them out by. We hope that the neural network will learn, use these, to cancel out the precipitation effect of this. Right? Mm. So I noticed that in the RMSC skill score column, some values are repeating themselves. So, for example, the skill score with eight hidden neurons is the same as with seven over the, the line. Yeah. With the same parameters. Well, I think that that's because it's level it off. Right? So it seems that uh, maybe it's up, uh, because of the Bayesian regularization, it's just canceling the extra yeah, this is a bit extra hidden errors, like extra connections. Um, yeah, some values keep like keep repeating themselves. You're saying these values are identical. And uh, yeah, and if yeah, you check one. the six one, I think that is also the that the fourth one. one. The best one is on it's the last one. line. Nine yeah. in the neurons. Mm -hmm. yeah, so and we're seeing it. this guy and that guy are identical. And also That's the six one. That one. Yeah. So six, seven, and eight are the same. Six, seven, eight are identical. Yes. Right. Yes. Check the you should check because yeah, we are yeah, using a skills course and they have like six significant figures. So. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes. 
Just check if you have like a... Yeah, so these numbers are identical. Maybe you want to check them. This one? Yeah, how come they yeah. are identical? 8, 7, and 6. 8, 7, and 6, here. Yeah. 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 Those numbers are the same. Check, check, check the number again. Check the yeah. skill yeah. score. And also, when you write the paper, I think you don't need so many things. You can cut this down to three or four, four at most down. Um, mm. yeah. Anyway, you can see it's interesting. It, uh, yes. Yeah, it builds up when nice you go cold. You know, it kept on going. This guy keeps on going up. Model with everything in, mm. kept on going up as you increase. So, have you tried more than 19 neurons? Yes, I tried, I tried, but the, the value is almost stable. Then it's stable. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So, you could add the 10 so to check that it stabilizes. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So, the, in, in this figure, I no need this one, but this this figure, is it? Here and here. And I check, I, I marked. So, the this. I mean, there are too, too, many, too many tables here, too many information here. Too many digits. Digits. No, sorry, di digits. Like ah, digits, yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, maybe just cut it down to four. Right? Cut it down to four. Four, three, well, five, four. So, mm. yeah, so it's very interesting that, you know, the idea that you know, having these to counter this guy, yeah. see, they have some irrelevant information, ask this mm. it seems to work if you make the model really more, large, more right? than linear. I mean, this is amazing. They say very few data points, so there's a large number of weights. I presume it's super connected. The whole control thing. Mm -hmm. And they still manage to do it. To, 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 to do well. Yeah. So it's obviously learning how to compensate for this extra unneeded information on the last year's precipitation. Mm -hmm. But then extracting the, the information to fertilize it. So this yeah. number actually beats this, this one. I mean, this was the best yeah. mm -hmm. model he had. But now, so, so, this, uh, yeah. so in that sense, maybe the, uh, the, hidden, the number of hidden neurons increased, maybe up to 10. Up to 10. Yeah, just check that, uh, yeah. show that it is stabilizing the... Stabilizing yes, yes, stabilizing, the yeah, 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 yeah. So the ch checking this yeah. table as a game. Well, well, yeah. well, you don't have to say, but, but you know, if you check it, then you should at least have a sentence. Yeah, saying, saying that more than, oh, yeah, yeah. than, than nine. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what you would say, what is like 10? You can say something like that. Okay, just sentence, sentence. Yeah. More than 10. Keep it like this. 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh, yeah, you guys. Yeah, you just say it, keep it, 9. Yeah. 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 Yeah
but if you go up, this up a little figure, this one actually, one, sorry, this one actually has a negative slope. It's a very small negative slope. Very small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah. 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 So what you do? Yeah, so the, I, I show that two two ways. I mean, this way or this way, or uh, this way and this way. This and this figure like and this way. <laughs> yeah, because this is a fertilizer. It works. But uh, in this case, cool. Yeah, this is like, how do you show this? Yeah. So this is where you should, you should talk to Alex because he has looked at that kind of plot before. You, you could just uh, say, I say it's uh, no Skype question. him or you know, talk to him by Skype or something. When he's back online. Or just mention it. Just uh, ask him. How these plots behave in which one line in a paragraph. And then just focus on the other yeah. plot. This is a little bit the same, but it does show you know, there's, there's a negative slope. It's actually very weak. Mm. Yeah, but it's very weak. I but mean, it, it, but it could be just caused because he's zooming so much the y-axis. Yeah. yeah. So essentially they have no, no effect. Mm -hmm. right? mm. yeah. So do we need to put this figure, just in case, maybe, you know, put this uh, uh, figure and, uh, and, uh, and the word? However, you see, this is if you assume the, uh, the fertilizer is uh, negative, mm -hmm. then you have a negative slope. Yeah. But if you assume that the fertilizer is positive, then you have a positive slope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I guess you could, you could show this, but just mention this is just a, a linear effect, right? Because it assumes that the fertilizer is held at the zero value, the mean value. Mm -hmm. But the linear effect is not linear, so as the fertilizer changes, the precipitation effect will change. So I think this figure is okay, correct? This figure and this figure. Yeah, yeah. Just to, just to say, and which is better? I mean, this uh, this figure uh, upwards or yeah, I, lowers? Yeah, I think the problem is that this is a little bit misleading. Mm -hmm. Misleading. So yeah, this one, eh? okay. So I this put this. Bit. So this is the same scale as the, the third figure, right? Yeah. This is vertical scale. Vertical scale is different. Third oh. value is quite different because oh. this one, seven thousand and zero oh. to seven thousand. Oh. Oh. Well, how come the numbers are so different? Also, you, how come they're. Yeah, no, no, uh, uh, oh, it's a yeah. oh, very small value. It just brings a very small value. Mm. Oh. And there are two variables that are like centered in the center of the symbol. So, in that sense, maybe the sa sa same uh, as from starting from 0 to 7000 in this figure. Yeah, if you so the same scale. Yeah, same scale, yeah. yeah this I is do just that. So, like a, a line like this. Yeah. Essentially zero value. Yeah, yeah. So that that's actually yeah, the three plots should have the same same vertical scale. Yeah. So same scale, yeah, same, yeah, same yeah. scale. Yeah. But almost the the flight horizontal. Yeah. Okay. Horizontal. In case, yeah. yeah. Okay, I do that. Yeah. And then uh, the, the discussion and, and this is a, this value is for the fertilizer. Yeah. It's sigmoidal, yeah. sigmoidal function. Yeah. Mentioned about that. And then discussion and conclusion comes up here. Oh, looks so, good. The paper looks good. Uh, yeah, I, I hope I want to submit this paper as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. I think you have yeah. enough materials, good, good stuff, interesting, uh, interesting conclusion. Thank you. Okay, so they, and I will check again and again and working for the analyst again from the beginning yeah, and then uh, collect, make a collection and then I submit. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank you. Oh, much better than yours. The CI state. CI state. CI state. CI state. CI state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, this one. <laughs> So what, when will you be going to Alberta? Yeah, after submitting paper. Uh -huh. so, uh, yeah, I could submit paper. Okay. I go.
otherwise I will not go. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, because I'm, I'm moving to the next topic, to the targeting on the yeah. yield in the yeah. uh, yeah. Canadian trade division. Yeah. But don't worry, this is a problem. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Yeah.